What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. This month's edition of Korokoro has fully leaked, revealing a ton of new information. First off, two new Mega Pokemon were revealed. The first is Mega Beedrill, who retains its Bug Poison typing, but gets the ability Adaptability. Just like how Huge Power was able to completely boost Mawau's potential, Adaptability is going to give Beedrill a lot more usability, especially with it getting a boost in attack and speed, and maybe it can finally make use of the fell stinger move now although beedrill isn't directly linked with butterfree it is very similar which gives butterfree also a good chance at getting a mega evolution i can actually see mega butterfree becoming a bug psychic type with tinted lens it would be the perfect counterpart to mega beedrill but anyways the second mega pokemon revealed is mega pidgeot who you may remember from my top five potential kanto mega evolutions video mega pidgeot also retains its typing as a normal flying type but gets the unexpected ability no guard if you're unfamiliar with that ability Ability, no guard ensures that all attacks the Pokemon uses or is targeted by will hit and with moves like hurricane and heat wave in its move pool It's gonna be really annoying to take down It also gets a major boost to its special attack after mega evolving Which is gonna give its ability a lot more potential as its special move pool is the more risky but more powerful part now here's where it gets a little more interesting. I was actually speculating on Twitter a few days ago with a few other Poketubers that Mega Latios and Latios will have to be revealed this month marketing wise. And funny enough, Mega Latios and Mega Latias have finally been officially revealed, but with more. Like in the original Ruby and Sapphire games, Latios and Latias are going to be version exclusive, with the other one being obtainable at Southern Island through the Eon Ticket item. The exact same will go for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and the Eon Ticket item is set to be distributed soon. There is also a new item called the Eon Flute which will give you access to a major new feature, flying. And I don't mean HMO2 flying but actually manually flying like how you could in Pokemon Ranger. Just like how you can dive underwater, get to new areas through underwater openings and encounter Pokemon in the seaweed, you can now fly up in the sky, gain access to new islands and encounter Pokemon in the clouds. The boy in the Aura Z3 trailer was showing us something after all. This was actually a feature I was hoping for for a long time and I even talked about it back when are speculating on what the January 8 announcement was going to be about in early 2013. But anyways, you can also apparently encounter quote unquote every non-event legendary Pokemon on certain islands. There's about 30 legendaries that would fall under this category, but it's probably talking about major legendary Pokemon like Palkia, Zekrom, and Lugia, which is still a huge addition. Game Freak probably wants a lot of these legendaries to be obtainable in Generation 6 without the use of Pokebank, which would make this work out perfectly. The obtainable legendaries may be split halfway with for example Dialga and Reshiram exclusive to one game and Palkia and Zekrom exclusive to the other. There's a lot more to this image than I've said so far but I'll save that for tomorrow's speculation video. We also get a double scan featuring Mega Rayquaza who was revealed about a week ago on Pokemon Get TV and while this scan does feature information we already know we also finally get the official artwork for Mega Rayquaza. It's odd that the artwork was never revealed yet outside of Korokoro especially after it was internationally revealed and added to the site. But in the corner of the scan, we have a poster for the second act of the Mega Evolution anime series airing on November 6th, which will feature Mega Charizard X, Shiny Mega Metagross, Primal Kyogre and Groudon, as well as Mega Rayquaza. This is easily gonna top the first act. This scan shows off the Pokenav, which is instead now known as the Multi-Nav. It has four features, the Map Navi, TV Navi, Play Navi, and Dex Navi. The Map Navi is your Hoenn Town map. The TV Nav would be the Hoenn version of the Holocaster. The Play Navi opens up Pokemon Ami, and the Dex Navi helps you find Pokemon in the wild and register them to your Pokedex, and also brings new features like sneaking up on Pokemon in the overworld like we saw in a trailer a few weeks ago. With the recent reveal of Mega Rayquaza and in response to a lot of your requests, there is now a Delta Emerald t-shirt featuring Mega Rayquaza available. It'll be available for a limited time so be sure to pick one up by clicking the shirt on screen or clicking the link in the description. But anyways guys, that's it for this coverage video. Be sure to drop a like if you're hyped about these new features in Omega Ruby and Delta Sapphire and let me know your thoughts on these new features as well as the new Mega Pokemon revealed. There's gonna be a lot more coverage on these games coming out over the next few days so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.